Join Kahoob's Kingdom by hitting subscribe. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kahoob here. I'm going to be showing you how to make your player follow an NPC event. So, uh, it doesn't matter where you talk to him. So he says, hey, I need to show you something. Follow me. You can talk to him from the left, from the right, from the bottom area, from the top area. And I said, now do you see why I told you to follow me? And uh, I just have it at that part ending because the main part is how to get your character to follow the NPC event. So what I did was make sure the speed is at normal for uh, whatever uh, speed all this stuff is like kind of same as your characters. Priority same as character um, and trigger action button options walking is checked and uh, once I have the text pop up then it sets the NPC's movement route to turn up, move up, move up, move up, turn left, turn, or move left, move left, move left, turn down, move down, move down, move down. So you can choose your movement route for the NPC, and then I have it set to where um, it won't matter where your character is facing. I mean, you can make it to where your character has to talk to them by adding uh, blocks and stuff around the guy that make it only possible to talk to him from one position, right? But um, if you want your person to be able to still move with your guy, uh, with the NPC, and have him be able to talk to the guy in any position, I made it to where it says, if player is facing down, which is using the conditional branch on page 3, uh, character if player is facing down, no else branch, um, I have then you have to look at the math of where your character would be facing, right? So if player is facing down, that means they would be right in this square, right above them. So then you have to do the math on the correct movements so then they don't collide to each other. Um, I guess putting through on the, the event, the guy, that might help if you aren't able to do the math by counting the blocks of how much this guy moves. And if you are on this square above, then how much do you need to move? But as long as you're able to figure that out, it's pretty simple. And then if player is facing right, so the same way you do facing down except you just change it to right, um, which is all right here. And then you just do if player is facing down and if player is facing up. And then once you make all those movements for the, your character to be moving depending where they're standing, and so either they're facing down, right, left, or up, then you want to make a control switch. I called it follow complete because um, I mean, you follow the person, and then once you're done following them, it's completed. <laughs> it's self-explanatory, so the switch, that's what I made, and, uh, make sure it's on, okay. And then, you want to make a new event page, and check mark the switch, and put on follow complete. And, uh, make sure you have your image, and anything you want to be changed here, you can, as long as, um, like the triggers can either trigger can either be parallel if you remove everything here um, or it can be an action button if you want to start saying other stuff here so I just put um, now do you see why I told you to follow me and you can basically just continue the story on from here so yeah that's basically all I needed to show you guys is uh, you know how to make your guy follow that NPC for like um, a certain like a, a certain amount of time you know to make your guy do that to where you can't even move out of it or anything and you have to follow the npc so that's how you do it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments on this then leave it you know in the comment section down below and i'll get to you as soon as possible and hopefully this helped all right see you guys later in the next video